This seems like a strange signal 32. Usually a quarter is a 30. And it's not too deep, so maybe it's from the seated hut. Let's try it. Probably about eight inches. Something here. Might just be trash there. Oh, it's a coin. Yes! Hot! I got one. 1951. Yes. Back with it for Metal Sharks, and I'm here at Stumpknocker's restaurant on the river. I'm getting ready to go to the Mid Florida Metal Detecting Club's hunt on Sunday, March 20th. It's mild weather in the 60s, so let's get after it. I'll tell you a lot more about the site in just a few minutes. J Man out. detecting today at this uh, property, Stump Knockers on the river, but I think the old river crossing is over this way near where the bridge is, so that's where I'm going to start. It's a nice 30 signal, about 8 inches deep. over here on the side of the boat. Yeah. Okay. First target is this quarter. It's like a modern state headquarter or the like, but still glad to get it. At least we're on the board. So I was trying to make my way to the far side of the bridge from where I parked. But on the way I got this shallow 25. So I've got to investigate that. Could be a dime. Let's get it. So we got a coin. Let's get it up more in the light. It's a pretty thin looking coin. Well, I can't tell much about it. It's so corroded. I think it's just a Lincoln Memorial. Okay, so working my way through the woods, I have to be careful because up on a hill over there where I heard there could be an old home site, there's a lot of poison ivy on that hill, so I don't know if I can go up there at all, unfortunately. So. Right at my feet, I see some poison ivy, and uh, there's just, it's just mixed in this whole wooded area really badly. So I don't think I can explore up here. I think I need to gingerly make my way back to the bank of the river. Okay, made it back out of the woods, and I'm uh, between the river and the restaurant again. But I'm getting a nice signal here. Nice 30. Not too deep. I'm hoping that's a quarter. Let's get that one. So upon widening the hole a little bit, I think it's right here, in between the two holes that I dug. Let's see. Ah, is that it? No, that's a root. I think I'm moving it around. Here it is. It's 
a nice quarter eagle back. Older quarter at least. 70. Looks like it could be 79. That's been there a while. Glad to get a second quarter on the day. Let's keep going. Yeah, we found a couple coins, not too much. A lot of bottle caps huh? <laughs> and a lot of pop tops. Well, yeah, but you gotta find those to find the gold. Yeah, I guess you have to keep digging them. Keep digging them. It's a possible quarter, but it's kind of got a weird higher tone to it. It goes even higher than 31. Or 30. Let's see. It goes 30 to 31. Here it is. It's another quarter. This time it's. Let's get it up in the light. It's like a state design. But I'll have to clean it up and tell you more later. We're getting a few coins here. Hey guys, so we've moved to the opposite side of the Withlacoochee River. You can see some detectorists behind me. They're going back over a site where a seeded hunt was held by the club back in 2019. So without further ado, let's get after it. So off in the distance, you can see the bridge. And on the other side of that bridge to my left is where we tried this morning at Stump Knockers restaurant. But it's pretty peaceful down here at the Withlacoochee. Nice little island there, kind of captures your imagination. A little bit smaller than an island you might read about in Tom Sawyer or Huckleberry Finn. It's still interesting. This seems like a strange signal 32. Usually a quarter is a 30. And it's not too deep, so maybe it's from the seeded hunt. Let's try it. Probably about eight inches. I do believe there's some... I know I got poison ivy when I went on this hunt, and I see some nearby, so I've got to be careful. I got poison ivy when I went on the seeded hunt back in 2019. It was at this site. Something here. Might just be trash there. Oh, it's a coin. Yes! Hot! I got one. 1951. Yes. Woohoo! My first silver coin of the 2022. All right, all right. So I came across a sign that I wanted to investigate. It says Copenhagen Long Cut, but it's just cardboard. As I'm going through here, it's okay if I get near these clusters of five with jagged edges, so you can see where my coil is. But this, over this way, no es bueno. Cluster of three with jagged edges. Poison ivy. <laughs> so it's kind of a serendipitous hunt right now because every time I see a cluster of three, I have to move right or left. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go where there's not those clusters of three. 28, 27. Let's get that. Could be a nice silver coin. These coins shouldn't be too deep, even though it's been a few years that they've been here. Bavarian beer. That's pretty old. I think that goes back to the 70s. I kind of like getting those even though I 
can't keep them. <laughs> it's like seeing the old retro design. Well, found a natural dime. Not from the seated hunt, but still glad to get it. It was a mid 20 signal and it was about 8 inches. After I dug my last signal, which was a dime, I saw this strange bug here. So I want to show it to you. It's right there. I guess he might turn into something good one day. Maybe a moth or something like that, a butterfly. So I like this little caterpillar like bug here. I hope you like this video today. He was right on our metal sharks sticker that's on the shaft here. Now he's climbing up, so I gotta gently remove him. I think he just fell off. Glad well, that took care of himself. <laughs> okay, so I'm hopeful about this next signal. 2930. This could be a good one. 2930, eight inches deep. Let's hope that's a silver quarter. Should be right here. This time it looks like a natural quarter. It will still take it. A modern clad quarter. I really dinged it good with my shovel. At least we got it. So I think this might be one of those colored pennies from that part of the hunt we had a few years ago where you could see who could get the most colored pennies and then get a prize for it. So let's see if that's one right there. Right over here. Yep, it's one of those colored pennies. It's a black colored one. Greetings all, J-Man is back with you from Metal Sharks, and this is a wrap up from my time at the club hunt on Sunday, March 20th. So up here is my best find, a nice 1951 Denver silver quarter, as you can see, equal back. So I was really glad to get that, and uh, you can really tell the difference in how it still pops after all these years. And it was cool to get that, recover that, because there were a lot of vines and overgrowth taken over the lot where it was found from the side of the former seated hunt. And then I have a quarter from 79. I have a uh, Block Island quarter, a um, Wyoming state hood design, and then a War in the Pacific quarter, as you can see. And that one I dinged pretty well with my shovel, unfortunately. And then I got a dime from 72 and another dime from 82. And we've got, I got five pennies, um, the oldest one being 79 down here. That's pretty uh, toasty, pretty dirty still. And four other pennies, two of these are colored black from the club event, I think in 2019, where they were seeing how many coins of different colors you could get and you could win prizes. Over here is a cool uh, rifle head, head stamp or shell casing. So it says Western 410, made in USA. So that was pretty neat. I like getting those that, where they take pride in their product and they say made in the USA, the manufacturer that is. So as you can see, I dug 18 pop tops. And you may wonder why I dug so many, but we had heard that there were some wedding rings lost on the property. So I kept digging the 16, the 17, and the 18 signals, and that was the result. And then I was just happy to get some trash up out of the ground, and I also found one golf ball this time. So there you have it. Hope you enjoy this one. Mm -hmm.